hi this is anand govardhan and uh, today i am going to show you how to export aol contacts in the csv file um, in aol there is no built-in way to do that and it's a big time pain uh, to you know import and uh, export and import these contacts if you are moving from aol to another email service so I found a way to do that mm, for that uh, the first thing that you have to do is uh, go to the contacts in AOL and you will see the contact list over here now it's up to you where you want to uh, s export only selected contacts or all contacts so in my case I want all the contacts to be exported in the CSV file now I click on the print button and there is uh, there are three options here selected contacts current category all contacts so in my case I want all the contacts to go to the CSV file now I say all contacts and I get a window with uh, the contact name phone number email and uh, this is an HTML page now uh, I want to export these uh, this information to the CSV file to do this I have to use some kind of HTML scrapper uh, there are uh, so many scrappers available on the net uh, but the one that I like most is uh, the outwit hub that you can install it uh, through uh, the website called outwit.com and uh, this is a kind of extension to the firefox so once it is installed you'll get a button here like this w you click on it and you will get another window open and you can see here you know uh, on the left hand side you have a tree view and, uh, and, and and this is your HTML page now uh, in the address book what I will do is I will copy this URL and paste it to the scrapper now you can see um, I'm getting the same address book what I was seeing here now uh, go to the scrapper uh, no I'm sorry go to the source and uh, in source you can see this is the HTML source code for that page now what you have to do is uh, you have to define uh, the range for your you know data now uh, here I'm saying that wherever this guy finds the full name this is the starting point for the name and as soon as this guy finds uh, the less than sign and the slash it will stop and whatever comes in between is the is the name so if you look at here there's the full name then this sign and this is my full name similarly uh, for home phone wherever this guy finds home span and the end point is this sign so whatever comes in between is the home phone number now the interesting thing is if you look at here the home phone and span I, I gave it the starting point but there is uh, another tag uh, coming up in between the good thing about this software is it simply ignores the tag so you get the data not the tag 
so I have created a kind of definition here for name home phone mobile phone email you can create it uh, uh, the way you want and then you just save it and once it is saved go to the scrapper and just say refresh and you can see you know uh, you have a column name email mobile phone now the next step is export to the csv file so i select these two and say catch now you look at here you get the same uh, uh, columns over here but this is a catch even if I refresh it and go to another page this this won't go up now what I have to do is I will say file export catch as CSV and uh, uh, I'll store it on somewhere desktop If I open it with uh, uh, the Excel or Open Office spreadsheet, uh, these are the few columns which are being added by the Outwit Hub. I'll just ignore it and let's see. You can see here I have name, email, mobile, and home phone. Now it's easier for me to import it to another email service like gmail or yahoo or whatever